is gone, snow is on the ground, and Christmas season has begun. I have so many warm, wonderful memories of Christmases in the past. Candles, tinsel and holly lend their own special gaiety to this merriest of merry seasons. W. Fitch Company, makers of Fitch Shampoo, presents the Fitch Bandwagon, written by Ray Singer and Dick Chevrolet, Elliot Lewis, Janine Roos, Ann Whitfield, Robert North, Walter Sharp and his music, and starring Alice Fay and Bill Harris. weeks now, the Harris children, like children all over the world, have been thinking of nothing but Christmas and Santa Claus. They've been on their best behavior. And as we look in, we find Alice complimenting the children on their good deportment. Now, you've been particularly good, Alice. You've gone to sleep early, you've put all your toys away, you've finished all your food at mealtime, and you drink all your milk. Gee, I've been a regular little angel, haven't I, Mommy? Oh, no. No, let's not go that far. As for you, honey, you've been just as good as Alice. You, too, have been going to bed early, putting your toys away and eating all your food. The only thing is, you haven't been drinking all your milk. Well, I tried to, but you know how that stuff gags me. <laughs> Why, Phil, I'm talking to little Phyllis. Where is she? She was here a minute ago. She went in the den, Mommy. I'll get her. Phyllis! Phyllis! always been just naturally attracted to clothes and shoes of yesteryear, particularly a good pair of leather shoes. And I just purchased these from Ms. Moos in New York City. I 
I also love pinafores, aprons. This is a 100% cotton apron with big pockets and I absolutely love it. From Hollywood, California, Kraft presents Harold Perry as the Great Gildersleeve, written by Leonard L. Levinson. And now let's visit our friend, the Great Gildersleeve. Let me have some more of that green paper, Leroy. Thanks. Hey, who are you sending that necktie to? It's for Cousin Clinton in Iowa. Leroy, you can't do that. He's the one who sent you that tie last year. Oh. Well, in that case, I'll mail it to Uncle Stanley. Oh, no. Uncle Stanley gave it to Cousin Clinton the year before. Well, Uncle Mort, how do you know? Because I gave it to Uncle Stanley four years ago. <laughs> oh, are you sure it's the same tie? Oh, positively, Marjorie. I'd know those purple stripes and those orange dots anyplace. But, gee, what'll I give Cousin Clinton? Oh, I think we can skip him this year if we send him a Christmas card. Yes. Yeah. Oh, Mr. Llewellyn? Yes, Miss Marjorie. Be sure to address a card to our Cousin Clinton, will you please? Yes, ma'am, right away. Yes, uh, say, how are you coming along with the addressing and the sealing, Llewellyn? Well, I'm a widow Gwoggy. Yeah? I feel as if I'd whipped my weight in Christmas seals. <laughs> I wish they'd get some different flavored goo, like strawberry, raspberry, cherry, orange, lemon, or lime. <laughs> They'll come to that, Llewellyn. You're just a little ahead of time. <laughs> yeah. Here, Leroy, what are you doing? Me? Oh, I just thought I'd see what's in this package Piggy Banks gave me. But, Leroy, it's Mark. Don't open until Christmas. Yes. Haven't you any self-control or willpower, young man? Don't you realize that if you opened all your gifts ahead of time, when Christmas morning came around, you wouldn't have a single toy left to uh, a break? But, gee, I caught Marjorie sniffing around the present you gave her, Uncle Mort. I was not, Leroy. Or two. I just happened to drop it, and I was afraid it might be perfume. Oh, yes. <laughs> well, it's not perfume. It's a whoops. I almost told you then. Now, both you children stop acting childish. Let me alone while I wrap this present. It's for Fibber McGee. I've already sent Molly McGee a big bottle of perfume, so I better get Fibber McGee's present in the mail for Wistful Vista tonight. Oh, what did you get for him, Uncle Moore? Something he needs badly. An electrical pants presser. <laughs> it's a neat little gadget, isn't it? Although I doubt if it'll make much of an impression on those gunny sacks McGee wears. <laughs> you think that's enough of a gift for Mr. McGee? Why not? Cost me 39 cents at the cut-rate drugstore. 39 cents? Yeah. Well, I thought Mr. McGee was a close friend of yours. He is, Leroy. He's the closest friend I've got. <laughs> and I'm not speaking geographically or intimately. I'm speaking financially. I never knew that. Well, he isn't exactly tight. He's more of the borrow a tool today and return when rusty type. <laughs> Baking goodies at Christmas is one of my favorite things. <laughs> and I got most of my recipes from my mother and my grandmother, but this one right here I got from YouTube. So it's Scottish tablet and it's just so amazing. If there's anything that could, you know, like taste like Christmas, this is it. You can literally just take a bite of this and be reminded of the Christmas holidays. I filled up this very large mason jar with all of the Scottish tablet and I am going to gift it to the people at my church for Christmas. Yeah, there's only seven people in my church, so <laughs> they're going to love it. I also think that it's important to take care of yourself and to surround yourself with beautiful things, things that make you happy. I bought this pink tea tray. Um, for myself for Christmas and this book 
on how to do preserves in canning. So I'm really excited to try my hand at canning. <laughs> I have never done it before. I tried sauerkraut, but I was a little bit nervous about eating it and then I waited too long. So I'm going to use this book uh, and when summer comes around, I plan on doing a lot of preserving. I would like to wish you all a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Christmas is such a nostalgic time for me. It brings back so many memories of when I was a child and my children playing out in the snow and having fun. Great food, spending time with family and friends. I just love this season and I'm wishing all of you the most fantastic holiday ever. Thank you for coming and I'll see you in the next video. Happy holiday! Merry Christmas to everyone.